So this is the first anniversary of uh, the lockdown and also of the migrant crisis that we saw on the roads of India, the first perhaps since independence. Now we all covered this story, but then this is one story which has to be told. We must constantly remember that suffering. And one such story told well has been the story which has come out in the form of a documentary by Mr. Vinod Kapri. He is with us. Mr. Kapri, thank you so much for joining us on NDTV. Your documentary on Disney Hotstar is now out called 1232 Kilometers. I saw it last night and I must say that we all covered the story. We knew of the suffering. But the manner in which you narrated it will make even uh, the most tough ones weep or cry because it, it was so heartfelt. So first of all, congratulations for, for telling us this story. Thank you. Why did you think of, of, of narrating the story of these eight or ten migrants? You know, uh, first of all, uh, thank you so much, Sanket. Uh, I, it was so kind of you, nice of you that you liked the documentary and it, it really touched you. But uh, to be very honest, uh, I think all credit goes to NDTV. Why? Because when lockdown was announced, uh, there was only one channel which was following uh, stories of migrant. And I would say, I saw one uh, video of uh, NDTV by your reporter and his name was Mukesh, I guess. Mukesh Sengar. Yes. Mukesh Sengar. So, you know, I saw that video in which uh, he, he shot that video in, uh, uh, at ISBT yes. and that boy was crying. That really touched me. And after that, I was thinking, who are these people who are forced to uh, take out, uh, uh, taking such decisions to, uh, to uh, walk for thousands of kilometers or, or to ride a bicycle? So I was very curious to understand that what are the circumstances which are forcing them to take such extreme decisions. But at the same time, I was also very curious to understand that what is their journey is like, how, how they are going to fed themselves, how they are going to, you know, if they fall ill, uh, if they fell ill, who, who is going to treat them, uh, where they are going to take rest, who is going to help them. So I was very curious to understand uh, their journey, whether they, these people will reach home safely or not. So uh, this was my third attempt. I tried twice before uh, this journey. I went with one uh, mother and uh, her three daughters, still Aligarh. And then, uh, you know, I, I was, no, uh, after that, I, uh, during my journey, it was my second day, I was, uh, I started coughing and there was some sneezing also. And I thought maybe uh, this, uh, this coronavirus has some, uh, you know, I, I was, I was, I, I was very uh, scared. So I called my wife and I told her that this is the situation. And she also suggested me that I should come back. Somehow, I was very uh, keen to go with them, some of them. And I, I was in touch with these guys. And then this is how it started. Mm. 